Hi, everybody. It's Donna with Donna's Deals and DIYs, and there's Serena. Uh, she wanted to say hello. And I'm reading from my devotional 52 Devotions for Dog Lovers. For those of you who are new, this is Devotional Thursday, and I am so behind in recording this evening, and I really apologize. Okay. Walk with me. This is page 97. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. Psalms 139.7 Our daughter Emily had her first seizure when she was five years old. It was scary not knowing she would have another one, especially at night. We got her a seizure alert service dog named Cody. Cody had the uncanny ability of sensing when Emily was going to have a seizure and would alert us by walking protectively around Emily and barking. It's not completely understood how seizure alert dogs are able to sense an upcoming seizure, but it is clear they have an intimate understanding of their owners. They are quick to raise alarm when needed. All of us have a deep desire to be intimately known. We want to know that we have someone looking out for us. Like Cody looked out for Emily, we want to turn to someone with our hurts and fears. Jesus promises to never leave us nor forsake us. We can't, let me turn the page here. Physically see him, but through faith we can trust that the God who counts the hairs of our head and watches every sparrow fall isn't observing us from a distance. He is walking right beside us. Our God is omnipotent, omnipotent, excuse me, meaning he has complete knowledge of all things. He knows our most intimate needs and desires. He is omnipresent, so there is nowhere we can go where he is not with us. Where we are limited by our humanity, we have access to a God who has no limits and whose presence nothing else can replace. Knowing Cody kept a constant and vigilant watch over Emily eased our constant state of worry and allowed Emily to maintain a healthy level of independence into her teen years. Today, we know our faithful God will complete the work he's began in our lives and give us the confidence to press forward. We know his perfect love will sustain us no matter what scary circumstances we encounter. And the prayer... Lord, only when I'm resting in your perfect love can I let go of my many fears. Thank you for being an intimate God who invites his people into a deep and personal relationship. Help me to trust you when I face circumstances, for it's hard to see your work at hand. As I go from situation to situation, may I depend on you for my strength, knowing with confidence that you will be there to help me through each day and every one. Through, help me through each and every one. Why is it hard to believe that God is right here with you when you're going through something difficult? Did you know that Helen Keller was the first person to bring an Akita dog to the United States? She was gifted one by the Japanese government on a trip to Japan. And I do have a family member that has a service dog um, that will alert her when her blood sugar, uh, she's a type 2 diabetic, and when her blood sugar is off, um, the dog is supposed to alert her. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, watching my devotional today. I appreciate you so very much. I hope that you will uh, rely on God when you need him the most and every day, but especially when you need him the most, remember that he is there. You are not walking alone. And if you have a prayer request, please send it to platware, P-L-A-T-T-W-E-A-R, at yahoo.com, and I will add you to my prayer request. Please remember that God loves you and that I love you, and God bless you. Good night.